As designers, we have to prove to our clients why we make the certain design decisions. And to do that, we have to do the user testing. To do user testing, you first have to launch your product, collect your users, let them test the product, and then analyze all of the information. All of it can take a lot of time and it requires a lot of money. So the other approach you can take is to test while you're still designing. One of these methods is to use AI while you are still designing and that's the topic of today's video. I'm going to show you how to use Adobe XD and AI to make better design decisions. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel. And as I said, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to test your designs in Adobe XD using AI. And to do that, we are going to get a little bit of help from today's video sponsor, Attention Insight. Attention Insight is a plugin for Adobe XD and it helps you create these heat maps just to see where your users are looking at. So here is their website. And what you can see right here is they are showing you how to engage with your consumers on your landing pages, for example. So uh, you can get a crucial feedback in under one minute. Analytics are 90 to 94 percent accurate and they are 100 percent GDPR and privacy compliant. What that means is they are collecting external data of these heat maps and this analysis, which are already been done feeding the AI with it and then AI is going to spit out the data which is 90 to 94 percent uh, accurate in this case so you can use that in your design you can try it out for free for seven days but at the end of this video I'm going to give you an offer which they were kind enough to provide for you guys so you can watch the video and see how it works and what you can do with it is you can find out if your ads, landing pages or apps will perform before you launch them, which is really crucial at time saving and money saving. You can run traffic to them and have large sample sizes. So this is the old approach. You first have to do this and then see if it works or doesn't. And it always takes longer and costs more than it should. So you can get crucial performance feedback on your concept before you launch it. So this is really the crucial information right here. So before you launch your concept is uh, why this is really useful. You can save your clients a lot of money and a lot of time before you even get to the testing stages because you can show them the results of this AI comparisons between all of your design decisions. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So going back to this page right here, you can drag and see all of these heat maps and where are your viewers looking at and you can kind of compare then these red zones are actually the most looked at zones because they are always in the center and then further it goes from outside then the eye uh, is going to kind of wander off of these zones and you can see all of these boxes around these areas which shows in percentages how much of an attention they are getting at. So you can see that this button right here where it says try for free is getting just 1% of attention and perhaps you want them to click on this button because that's the whole point of call to action and you don't know if that's going to work unless you launch this design into a real product and give it out to real users. So that's where this AI is going to come in handy. So if we scroll a bit down, you can see that they have plugins for Chrome, XD, Photoshop, Sketch and Figma and then you can drive higher conversions. This is what you can use to sell to your clients a bit more effectively and to persuade them a bit more about your design decisions because you can use this plugin to show them the real data and what works and what doesn't for their particular design decisions. You can improve UX and usability. You can validate your concept, which is what I was talking about with your clients. Here you can read some of the case studies and this is the accuracy 95 94% accuracy is quite a lot so you can launch with full confidence as they say right here so let's now jump into adobe xd and see how it works in real time so here are two designs which are exactly the same these designs are taken from one of my courses which is adobe xd masterclass so some of you who are my students may be familiar with it so the whole point here is to show you exactly the same design just with a different approach what I did right here in the first version because the whole point here is you can see it's uh, telling 
it's showing you cards in the navigation because this is the banking website and they are trying to sell you cards so the more cards you take from them the more money they can make obviously so the whole point here is to sell cards but here we have two different approaches in one approach the one on the left we are showing the card itself we are showing how it looks like they can see it's a visa card with the number right here with the name with the expiry date all of that good stuff but on the right we are showing a happy person using the card this is the sort of image that you see on dribble these days but does it really work does it really uh, yield you value at the end of the day also Pay attention to the overall structure and the overall hierarchy of this design. You can see, as I said, the text is exactly the same. The order is exactly the same. Topography is exactly the same. But here, this line is a bit shorter than this line. And also a text is a bit smaller than this line to fit inside a bit uh, better. And also the call to action button right here is a bit darker than right here. So how it actually compares? Well, you can test it out with their plugin. You can download the plugin from their website. I'm going to obviously leave the link down in the description below so you can check it out. And I'm going to show you another thing which you can do on their website in just a second. So all you need to do right here is to create your free account. So sign in and sign out what it says right here in order for xd to be connected with the website itself so what we can do right here is to select this artboard where it says generate heat map i can click on it you can see it's uploading the design to my profile generating the heat map and in just a couple of seconds your heat map has been created so when i close it you can see all of these spots where my users were taking a look but this is the great thing about this uh, plugin is we can select the other artboard to compare and to show to our clients what works. Once again, click generate heat map. It's going to start uploading this design to my profile, generate the heat map itself. And then it's going to show me in just a couple of seconds, which version has been better than which. So here you can see a couple of things. First of all, let me hide this so we can get a better look. Here they are taking a look at the logo and the locations and obviously the text and the call to action button a lot more than right here. You can see they're paying attention to the logo in this example a lot more than in this one because uh, they their eyes were already right here and then taking a look right here at the top while in this example because they're just looking at her face not the card which is the crucial bit of information right here because remember we are trying to sell cards to people so perhaps this approach doesn't really work while in this example they are paying attention to the card once again to the logo so same thing right here they're paying attention to the logo they're paying attention to the text so perhaps this version is a lot better they are also taking a look you can see right here and right here but in the smaller amount perhaps in a bit bigger amount right here but the crucial thing is just pay attention to the call to action button in this case they are taking a look at it a lot more than in this case so what you can do in this example is you can go to the website that uh, you logged in so this is the background this is the app attention insight.com forward slash dashboard where you created your account and you connected the adobe xd plugin with your account and here are your analysis so you can see study and study and you can of course rename this so if i click right here it's going to show me what I showed you inside of Adobe XD. So if I take you back right here to XD, you can see how it looks like in XD. But if we go back to the website itself, you can see we can generate the percentage of attention. So what I can do in this case is simply drag on right here and say something like face, something like that. And it's going to show me 20% of attention. I can drag in right here and call it, for example, H1. There we go. Calculate attention. It's going to show me 48% of attention. And I can draw right here, for example, H2, maybe. Calculate attention, 4.6%. And then right here, finally, CTA, which is what I really care about because when they click right here, is going to take them to create a card and you can see 5.9 percent so it's not really all that good 
and this design doesn't really work in my opinion all that well but you can generate your report right here you can share it right here or you can download it as a pdf and you can share it with your clients that way so let's go back and let's jump inside of this one because remember this was a bit better and you can see it right here straight away so what i can do in this case is do the same thing so i can drag in right here type in logo calculate tension click right here and type in h1 calculate the tension h2 do the same thing and finally right here cta so you can remember the last example we had five percent for the cta and right here we have 7.7 .7, so obviously it's a lot better but here if we grab this entire section and call it card or product or you can call it whatever you want it's 42.6 percent so once again you can generate your insight you can download it as a pdf you can create focus map just to see uh, where exactly do they focus you can select none percentage of attention attention heat map so you can see all of this information and with all of it selected or not you can simply uh, download it right here but if i go back to here and here we have comparisons so i can create a new comparison and call it cards for example select analysis to compare so i can select study and study for example compare so it's going to show me in just a couple of seconds two different uh, comparisons so right here what i can do is i'm going to add an element and i can for example select this h1 calculate and all i care is really cta and this card like this calculate the tension there we go and then i can go back to it so you can see how this works and i can add element so let's go back to that person's face because that's what it's showing so face calculate this is going to be h1 calculate and finally cta calculate the tension there we go and when i go back you can see all of the real data right here so for the h1 we are better at this case and you can see uh, why right here so we are at 45 percent and here we are at 26 percent this is extremely useful if you're sharing this with your client and let me hide myself just for a second just for, uh, so you can see this a bit better on screen here we can see that call to action button is obviously a lot better right here so 8.6 rather than 8.2 but i selected a bit more right here than right here so just keep that in mind and finally what we have is card and the face so perhaps i should name that the same but card is taking up 42.6 percent right here of the attention and here it's taking up 14.7 percent so you can add more analysis or i can click right here to download it and when i click to open it up just to see how it looks like there we go so we have this which we can what we can share with our clients so screen one screen two and it's showing me in percentages uh, what's good what's bad and what it can be improved right here so you can see comparison table just pay attention to name all of your um, selections the same so it's going to show it right here so you can see instead of card and face maybe it can show uh, inside of the card section uh, both of the comparisons so your client can really compare what works better than the rest if you want to test attention inside for yourself there is a link down in the description below you're going to get one month for free of solo plan go ahead test it out see for yourself and see how it's going to help you get much better design decisions and how you're going to get a much better understanding from your clients about your design decisions try to explain to your clients how you're going to bring them even more value using this attention insight plugin thank you so much for watching thank you to attention insight for sponsoring today's video if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel i upload every single week all about adobe xd design passive income techniques and so much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe and until next time take care